Now, uh, till the first two problems, we have seen only net profits. Now, if we have got net loss, how should be the problem is what I am going to discuss in problem number 3. Now, as far as your notes is concerned, problem number 3 has been given with net loss. It's not with net profits. Prepare a reconciliation statement from the following information. Net loss as per cost accounts is 3,44,800. Net loss as per financial accounts is 4,32,090. So, the analysis would be same. But the way we are going to treat the less transaction and more transaction would be quite different for the net loss problems. Okay. So, first we will start with the analysis. So, every problem irrespective of any pattern, this particular chapter will definitely have three steps. So, first step is analysis of table, second analysis of transaction, second step would be preparation of memorandum reconciliation statement and the third one would be memorandum reconciliation account. Right? So, first transaction as far as your third problem is concerned, work overhead under recovered in cost accounts, work overhead under recovered. So, what is the transaction? Work overhead under recovered. Work overhead is a cost accounting concept and if an expense is less recovered, under, under is less. So, when the expenses are less recovered in cost accounts, the profit would automatically be more. Lesser the expense, more would be the profit. So, automatically, vice versa will be in financial accounts. Next, depreciation overcharged, depreciation overcharged in cost accounts. Depreciation overcharged in cost accounts. So, when the depreciation is overcharged in cost account, which means expenses are excess. So, when expenses are excess in cost account, the profits would automatically go down in cost accounts and in FA it should be more. Right? So, what is depreciation? Depreciation is an expense. If expense is overcharged in CA, what will happen for profits? Less. So, when the profits are less in CA, what would be for FA? More. Right? Next. Administration overhead recovered in excess. I repeat, administration overhead is again a cost accounting concept. So, when the expenses are, you know, recovered in excess, that is when expenses are more in CA, then profits in CA would be less and automatically vice versa would be in FA. Next, interest on investment. I repeat, interest on investment is an FA concept. You find interest on investments in financial accounts only. So, when you are writing in your notes, please make note of this point. Interest on investment is a financial concept. So, whenever this transaction is being given, even though they have not specified, you should consider only from FA perspective. Interest on investment is a FA concept. Work overhead and administration overhead is a CA concept. So, irrespective of anything, you should always think from FA perspective, interest on investment. So, again, if it is included in FA, more will be in FA and less would be in CA. Next, goodwill written off. Again, goodwill written off is FA concept. And goodwill written off is an expense. So, if expenses are more in FA, the profits would be lesser in FA and more in CA. Right? Interest on investment is an income. So, therefore, more profits in FA. Goodwill written off is an expense. Therefore, less would be the profits for FA. Both these concepts are FA concepts. So, you should always look from FA perspective. Next, Income tax paid, income tax paid is again an expense. So, income tax paid would be an expense and income tax again here it would be lesser profits, here it would be more profits. Next, stores adjustment credited in FA. So, stores adjustment credited in 
FA. So, which means more profits in FA, less profits in CA. Next, loss due to loss on damage to stock. And again, it is seen in FA. Loss on da damage to stock. It is in FA. So, therefore, less profits in FA and more profits in CA. Loss is an expense. So, therefore, loss would be lesser profit in FA and more profits in CA. I repeat, works overhead under recovered in CA. Less would be in FA, more would be in CA. Then, depreciation overcharged in F, uh, CA. So, depreciation would be more. So, if more the expense, lesser will be the profits in CA and vice versa would be in FA. Next, administration overhead recovered in excess. So, again, less profits in CA, more would be in FA. Interest on investments. Interest on investments is an income. So, if income is included in FA, more would be the profits in FA, less would be the profits in CA. Next, goodwill written off. Goodwill written off is again an expense and it is an FA concept. So, if expenses are included in FA, lesser would be the profits for FA, more would be the profits for CA. Next, income tax paid. Again, income tax paid is an FA concept. So, income tax is paid and it is an expense and it is included only in FA. So, therefore, lesser the profits in FA, more the profits in CA. Next, stores adjustment credited in FA. So, income is credited in FA. Therefore, profits are more in FA and lesser in CA. Next, loss on damage to stock. And again, it is shown only in FA. So, therefore, if expenses are included in FA, lesser would be the profits in FA and more would be the profits in CA. So, with this, we have completed the first step of your problem number 3. But, you have a slight variation from the previous two problems. So, the previous two problems were net profits. But this problem has got net loss. But, when you have net profit, what you used to do? Less transaction, you used to add. More transaction, you used to deduct. Am I right? But now, you are going to go with the same direction. That is, less transaction, you will deduct. More transaction, you will add. That is the only difference when you have net profit, less transaction should be added, more transaction should be deducted. But when you have loss, less should be lessened, more should be added. That's it. If you have same direction, it is net loss. If you have opposite direction, if it, it is net profit. So more transaction, again I am going to add more transaction to be added, less transaction deduct, less transaction again deduct, more transaction add, less transaction deduct. Now, in the second step, in the second step, again we are going to do the methodology. So, I have been, you know, able to reach you out uh, for the analysis table. So, as far as analysis table is concerned, we have done the analysis of every transaction and I have told you this is a net loss problem. So, if it is net loss problem, go with the same direction. Less deduct, more add. If it is net profit, less should be added, more should be deducted. So, net profit, opposite direction. Net loss, same direction. So now, do you understand the first problem, first step? So less should be deducted, more should be added. That is the understanding. Now, we will move on to the second step. The second step is preparation of a memorandum reconciliation statement. Memorandum reconciliation statement. Step 2. Memorandum Reconciliation Statement. So, how many uh, columns you would be finding in a memorandum reconciliation statement? You will be having three columns. So, first column will be dedicated for transactions. 
The second column is inner amount and the third column is outer amount column. Particulars, amount and amount. So, first we will start with the first step that is net loss as per FA. Net loss as per FA. What is net loss as per FA? It is 4 lakh 32,090. 4 lakh 32,090. Now I have already told you add all the more transactions and deduct all the less transactions. I repeat. So add all the more transactions and deduct all the less transactions. So when you are having net loss as per FA, when you are having net loss as per FA, add all more transactions, deduct all less transactions, right? So now, now we have taken net loss as per FA 4 lakh 32,090 rupees and now I am adding all the more transactions. So depreciation overcharged in CA, depreciation overcharged in CA and it is 2600. Please write the transactions as it is in the full sentence. I have written the short forms in this particular problem. Next more transaction is administration, administration overhead excess recovered. So administration overhead recovered in excess that is 3400. Next interest on investment, interest on investment that is 17500. Next stores adjustment creditor in FA. It is 950. So total would be 24,450 rupees. I have done nothing here. I have just added all the more transactions and I have kept the amount aside in the outer column. Next, it is 4 lakh. 56,540. Now I am going to deduct all the less transactions. Less works overhead. Under, under recovered, it is 6,240. Next, goodwill written off. Goodwill written off 11,400. Next, income tax paid. I hope you will not mind with the short form that I am using here. Pardon me with, for, the, for the short forms. 80,600. Next. Loss due to damage. Loss on damage. 13,500. So, total would be 1,000,000. 